All right, guys, moving into the next unpopular opinion video, and this one is on Dark Side. Now, before we get into some of your comments, I'm just going to open up this video by saying Dark Side is my second favorite DC character of all time. He's just behind Batman. I personally have always liked the idea that Darkseid is evil just to be evil. I am okay with the original Darkseid just wanting to take over anything and everything and reverting it to the way he sees fit. I love how stupidly, ridiculously powerful he is. I love the idea that he started off as a Superman villain, but over time they had to make him a Justice League, if not a worldwide villain, because they realized of how powerful they made him. You will never see me be negative on Darkseid. You will probably never see me hate on Darkseid. And he is my favorite all-time villain that a DC universe would have to go up against. But with that being said, let's get into some of your comments. The Claymore says, Only a hot take to half of the DC fans, but I wish Warner Brothers let Snyder complete his Darkseid story there would have been some epic Omega Beam moments. Couldn't agree more on this one. And already from what we were seeing from Darkseid in Zack Snyder's Justice League, we were in store for a lot of fantastic, epic, almost kind of scary moments with that character. Let alone what we saw him do in that small flash forward scene that Cyborg has about the future. Such an awesome moment. He's supposed to be the character that completely destroys the Justice League. A group of people who seem to be unstoppable, especially to threats on Earth. And the minute Darkseid comes in, he ruins that team. Almost so much that it feels like this team may never be able to recover. We all know Zack Snyder is a visually captivating person, so a fight against Darkseid probably would have been insane. Happy Little Tree says they should make a series of movies around Superman, Darkseid, and Apocalypse. That would be really neat, really interesting, and what you could even do is, say for example, if you wanted to tie that into a DC cinematic universe, you could make a trilogy of Superman films where, for example, every character that's going up against Superman in every movie, he starts to find out they're being sent by Darkseid from Apocalypse. Maybe they got hired by Darkseid. Darkseid wants Superman. He wants Superman to work for him, to be on his side, to help him take over Earth. And what a Superman trilogy surrounding Darkseid and Apocalypse could do, it could introduce Darkseid as the main threat for the entire DC universe. Also, while showing the importance of what Kal-El has for Darkseid. Or you could make a trilogy of Elseworld stories where it's literally just Superman, no one else, against Apocalypse and Darkseid. That would be really cool as well. Mateo Fernandez says he can beat Thanos even with the Infinity Gauntlet. You ain't gonna see me say no here. Now I will say, people who have comic books streaming in their veins, all this unlimited, vast knowledge might be able to tell you different. Like, no, Thanos with the Gauntlet would win. At the end of the day, these are comic books. Whoever you want to be the winner is who you want to be the winner. And for me, yeah, I would show Darkseid's dominance by beating Thanos even with the Infinity Gauntlet. Darkseid's regular powers are so vast that it could probably rival an Infinity Gauntlet. But then Darkseid with the anti-life equation, it's completely game over there. Once he's got you, it's over for you. Riot Rioter, among the greatest villains in DC, he has proven himself to be stronger than even Superman to handle alone. He is one of the greatest villains in DC. Personally, I think Joker and Bane are better villains, but all I can say is Darkseid is perfect. Another one of these unpopular opinions and hot takes that I can't disagree with in any way. I think when Darkseid was first created and they were making stories with him and Superman, Superman was capable of defeating Darkseid because even though if Darkseid was powerful back then, 
he's not as powerful as they portray him to be today. I think it was a really good call making Darkseid this extraterrestrial ancient god with unbelievable powers trying to obtain a universal power that could help him take over not just this universe but every universe in the multiverse. I think it was a great call making that type of guy a Justice League villain. Because not only does that mean that the Justice League will face one of their greatest tests of all time, Darkseid could absolutely destroy the Justice League. But when the Justice League eventually rises up and defeats Darkseid, the Justice League will be a well-known team for all time in all multiverses. The one team mixed with humans, aliens, superpowered people, and non-superpowered people to take down a force like Darkseid. Z Production says his motive is boring, but he's intimidating. So I understand what you're saying because I said that I liked the fact that Darkseid was just pure evil. Usually though, when I look at villains, I look at villains to have a purpose. They always have a reason why they act out in the more evil way that they're choosing to act out in. But for some reason with Darkseid, I love the fact that his only motive is control. That's all he wants, control and power. He wants everywhere in the universe and all other universes to look like Apocalypse. Once again, I wouldn't be opposed to giving Darkseid more of a background, more of a story on why he does what he does, or maybe giving him another motive that helps with him wanting to take over everyone and everything. But as a straight up pure evil villain, I am absolutely okay with it because sometimes I think you just need those types of evil forces. An evil force that has no reasoning. He's just evil to be evil. Some schmuck says he is one of the most bland DC villains. So overall, I completely disagree with this comment. Although I still somewhat understand understand your way of thinking because maybe of his ambitions, why he is who he is. Not everybody is interested in just a villain who wants to be a villain because they can control everything and take power over everything, like I was just saying. But even though I can understand where you're coming from, one of the most bland DC villains, I think there are far more villains who are much less interesting than him. Maybe it's a little bit of my bias coming out considering I called him my second favorite DC character of all time, but just Darkseid's presence alone is terrifying. I remember seeing him on screen for Zack Snyder's Justice League for the first time, and I said, this is a villain. This is what I want to see from a villain. A villain that the heroes don't even know what's about to hit him. And even in comic books and animation, he's got some of the greatest one-liners. Everything Darkseid says just not only feels evil, but feels feels important. To me, Darkseid always feels like not only is he above you, like one step ahead of you, he's just simply better than you. A guy who can put his hands behind his back and not need to worry about whipping his hands out at any time to fight a guy like Superman just shows complete confidence and dominance. Burton Stegner says, my unpopular opinion is that Darkseid Side can beat almost any DC character. A good example of this is in Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, where he decimated the entire Green Lantern Corps. It's interesting because on this channel, I periodically make story ideas or film pitch ideas for DC movies, and they're usually stories I don't use from how I imagine my real DC universe, because one day I want to pitch that to everyone, but more on a higher budget scale even if I have to do it in animation form or something. Regardless, in my official image of what a DCU would look like, there is a storyline where Darkseid does come to Earth and he annihilates like 80% or more of the Green Lantern Corps on his own 
by himself. I just think that is how much of a force to be reckoned with Darkseid has to be. But also too, when we look at how powerful Darkseid can be, instead of using his powers and his brute strength to brutally beat other people up, how would it look like when he's getting beat up? And I think Darkseid is so powerful that one of the most strongest heroes could go toe to toe against him and put all their force behind their hits and Darkseid would just take the hit. You know, his head bouncing around everywhere. No bloods dripping, no nothing, no bruises. He's okay. And then after that particular character has got all their anger out, Darkseid just backhands them away and they go flying across a city. That's how I've always viewed Darkseid and I think that's how I always will. Josiah the Brain says, this is more of a miscommunication with the new gods. The new gods aren't literally gods. They're just aliens, very powerful aliens, but still aliens. Darkseid is no more of a god than every Everyone else in DC. Well, I haven't kept up with what the new gods are portrayed to be today. I think that's why a new gods movie, in my opinion, would be really cool because you could attach a creative to the film who could change some of these narratives, or maybe the narrative needs to be changed in the comic books as well. And I think you'd have to choose how you want the new gods, old gods, to be portrayed. Do you want people? People like Darkseid and High Father to have literally been created by a godlike force so that they are part or full god? Or do you want them to feel more like a Superman? We know Superman is not inherently a god. We know he was not necessarily born a god, but when he comes to Earth, people of Earth look at him that way and feel that he is a god to them because he is so much higher than any regular human will ever be. And the new gods, old gods, either need to straight up be gods or to be aliens who from little people get viewed like they are gods. Either way, in my opinion, it's cool because both sides can have interesting stories. But what gets even more interesting is that if these beings aren't gods or even demigods, what do you call a being that isn't a god who can defeat or kill a god? And that is what Darkseid is. That is what Superman can do. That is what High Father can do. Temple277 says he should have a nightfall slash killing joke type of story, but for his son Orion. My hot take is his design is cool. He's menacing, but all he's lacking is the most important part of any character, and it's the way he's written most of the time, unfortunately. George Lucas was even inspired by the story of Orion Darkseid and made Vader Luke, where Vader was also inspired by Doctor Doom. So I think Darkseid's story has way more potential to be more like Doctor Doom, even better, and less like cartoonish villains. I know George Lucas pulled tons of inspiration from all corners of fantasy worlds to inspire Vader and Luke and the story of Star Wars. I don't believe I knew that he possibly took inspiration from Darkseid or Ryan and Doctor Doom, but if he did, that is really cool. But yes, even though I do like Darkseid just being a force of evil, I will understand from a lot of your point of views, maybe he does need a specific story or an interesting story in why he does what he does. Like I said, you can still keep Darkseid a character who is just trying to take over the universe, but maybe he needs a very specific story on why he's doing so. Almost like a window into Darkseid's life instead of always just seeing Darkseid as, oh, he's a really dangerous, overly powered villain. Maybe he could use a little more characterization. Now for my bold take on Darkseid, it's like 50-50. Half is about him, half is about his daughter Grail. Now I'm gonna use this unpopular opinion for Darkseid because I don't know when we'll ever get to the Grail character in the future. I think Darkseid's daughter Grail shouldn't just be part Apocalyptean like her father, but she should also be 
part Amazonian. And yes, I know you're probably thinking, well, Tyrell, that was already revealed. She is part Amazonian. But she comes from a woman named Myrina, and it was in secret. Instead, it goes even deeper than that. She's no regular Amazonian girl. She is actually the sister of Wonder Woman. She is a child of Darkseid and Hippolyta, a secret that Hippolyta has kept very close to her for thousands of years. Diana has no clue about it and barely does any of her close advisors. You could also make Myrina some sort of relative to Diana, like maybe an aunt, so that they still have a blood relative connection to one another. I'm okay with that too. And now, just the way that Darkseid was very closely connected to Superman and then was turned into a Justice League villain, Darkseid is also closely connected to Wonder Woman as well. And then when she goes back to Apocalypse with her father, she's trained in everything Apocalyptian, and then she's brainwashed, and not through any type of brainwashing power, but more so just indoctrinated by her father to see things the way he sees things. And now she is on an all-out route of destruction, power, and control. But that would also mean that Darkseid has spent time on Earth thousands of years before the Justice League and modern day ever comes around, so maybe that could help out with a backstory and more of a characterization for Darkseid. But there you go, everyone. That is my unpopular opinion, if you will, and these were some of your unpopular opinions on the character of Darkseid. But now, as per usual, if you have more you want to say about the character, or you didn't get the chance to say it on the community post, but you want to say it now, shoot off in the comments down below. And if the next character isn't posted on my community post, it certainly will be soon, so keep your eyes out for that as well. But that is all I have for you on this video, everyone. So until next time, I will talk to you all very soon.